Question 16. What is sequence clustering algorithm? Answer. Sequence clustering algorithm collects similar or related paths, sequences of data containing events. The data represents a series of events or transitions between states in a dataset like a series of web clicks. The algorithm will examine all probabilities of transitions and measure the differences, or distances, between all the possible sequences in the data set. This helps it to determine which sequence can be the best for input for clustering. Question 17. Explain the concepts and capabilities of data mining. Answer. Data mining is used to examine or explore the data using queries. These queries can be fired on the data warehouse. Explore the data in data mining helps in reporting, planning strategies, finding meaningful patterns etc. It is more commonly used to transform large amount of data into a meaningful form. Data here can be facts, numbers or any real-time information like sales figures, cost, metadata etc. Information would be the patterns and the relationships amongst the data that can provide information. Question 18. Explain how to work with the data mining algorithms included in SQL Server Data Mining. Answer. SQL Server Data Mining offers data mining add-ins for Office 2007 that allows discovering the patterns and relationships of the data. This also helps in an enhanced analysis. The add-in called as Data Mining Client for Excel is used to first prepare data, build, evaluate, manage and predict results. Question 19. Define Rollup and Cube. Answer. Custom Rollup operators provide a simple way of controlling the process of rolling up a member to its parents' values. The rollup uses the contents of the column as custom rollup operator for each member and is used to evaluate the value of the member's parents. If a cube has multiple custom rollup formulas and custom rollup members, then the formulas are resolved in the order in which the dimensions have been added to the cube. Question 20. Define chameleon method. Answer. Chameleon is another hierarchical clustering method that uses dynamic modeling. Chameleon is introduced to recover the drawbacks of cure method. In this method two clusters are merged. If the interconnectivity between two clusters is greater than the interconnectivity between the objects within a cluster. Question 21. What do you mean by partitioning method? Answer. In partitioning method a partitioning algorithm arranges all the objects into various partitions, where the total number of partitions is less than the total number of objects. Here each partition represents a cluster. The two types of partitioning method are k-means and k-medoids. Question 22. What is model-based method? Answer. For optimizing a fit between a given data set and a mathematical model-based methods are used. This method uses an assumption that the data are distributed by probability distributions. There are two basic approaches in this method that are 1. Statistical approach 2. Neural network approach. Question 23. What is an index? Answer. Indexes of SQL Server are similar to the indexes in books. They help SQL Server retrieve the data quicker. Indexes are of two types, clustered indexes and non-clustered indexes. Rows in the table are stored in the order of the clustered index key. There can be only one clustered index per table. Non-clustered indexes have their own storage separate from the table data storage. Non-clustered indexes are stored as B-tree structures. Leaf-level nodes having the index key and its row locator. Question 24. Mention some of the data mining techniques. Answer. Statistics Machine Learning Decision Tree Hidden Markov Models Artificial Intelligence Genetic Algorithm Meta Learning Question 25. Define binary variables and what are the two types of binary variables? Answer. Binary variables are understood by two states 0 and 1. When state is 0, variable is absent and when state is 1, variable is present. There are two types of binary variables, symmetric and asymmetric binary variables. Symmetric variables are those variables that have same state values and weights. 
Question 26. Explain the issues regarding classification and prediction. Answer. Preparing the data for classification and prediction. Data cleaning relevance analysis data transformation comparing classification methods predictive accuracy speed robustness scalability interpretability. Question 27. Define descriptive model. Answer. It is used to determine the patterns and relationships in a sample data. Data mining tasks that belongs to descriptive model, clustering summarization association rules sequence discovery. Question 28. What is a star schema? Answer. Star schema is a type of organizing the tables such that we can retrieve the result from the database easily and fastly in the warehouse environment. Usually a star schema consists of one or more dimension tables around a fact table which looks like a star, so that it got its name. Question 29. What are the steps involved in KDD process? Answer. Data cleaning, data mining, pattern evaluation, knowledge presentation, data integration, data selection, data transformation. Question 30. Define wave cluster. Answer. It is a grid-based multi-resolution clustering method. In this method all the objects are represented by a multi-dimensional grid structure and a wavelet transformation is applied for finding the dense region. Each grid cell contains the information of the group of objects that map into a cell. A wavelet transformation is a process of signaling that produces the signal of various frequency sub-bands.